Hello people, how are you going today? Have a look at this coin. Now, not many people watching these videos will actually know what these coins are. This is a two tala coin from uh, Saxony. And it has the uh, Saxon coat of arms here. And here it has um, various other coat of arms from territories that they control. And it has FW... F, but I'm not too sure what that is, that's probably the engraver. Now, this coin is a counterfeit one, and the main way you can tell that is that the inscription is not all the way on the coin. Personally, I've never seen a Tala or two Tala, which are high denomination, high denomination coins, which, um, it was mainly used for trade by merchants and rich people. Generally, the uh, common people, workers, uh, blacksmiths, bakers, anyone else who done a trade like that, or agricultural people would not have seen these coins as they were too high a value. Now, this coin is a uh, should weigh about oh about 56 grams and to put size comparison I have a old Danish 5 kroner it's pretty big uh, Papua New Guinea 1 kina and the current Swiss 5 francs and as you can see these coins are pretty small compared to these it's the largest ones the yeah, 5 kroner these are about 30 millimeters so this coin is probably about 40 millimeters. And another way you can tell it's counterfeit is the crown. As you can see, the details of the dots. Yeah, they, these should have been a lot finer engraved. This should have hatching in here, in between there, and also in here. So the crown is another good giveaway. And I'm actually not too sure if this is actually silver. It's probably probably just silver plated, as we see on the other side. Okay, the inscription says um, Sex Roman Imperial has um uh a R C H I M, that's it, Artrum et Elector seventeen forty. And if we have a look at the other side, oh that's uh it's not evidence of it being plated, but it is evidence that it is uh starting to react. Now yeah, silver does react a little bit, but when silver is not pure, it reacts a lot. Okay, the inscription says DG Frederick Augustus, because this is a coin of Frederick Augustus the uh, second Rex, so king, uh, king of Poland. Duke of Saxony, Duke of Saxony, I C M A, I C M A W and W. Yeah. Anyway, this guy was um, the elected king of uh, Saxony because uh, at this time, until 1806, the kings were elected. Um, he was also king of Poland and Grand Duke of Lithuania. So it should actually have a reference to Lithuania in the title. But as this is in Latin, maybe I don't know. Or maybe I'm missing it. I'm not too sure. Have a look at the side. This is also another giveaway that it was counterfeit. Have a look here. This is pretty poorly done. This is alright here. This would have been well worn. Yeah, 
in there. So anyway, this is supposed to be a contemporary counterfeit back then, not a modern one. But I do not have much detail about it. So anyway, two Tala, seventeen forty. Uh, of um, Frederick Albert II of Saxony. And if this coin was real, you'd be worth thousands of dollars because two dollars are not common coin to actually get. Okay, so thank you very much and have a beautiful day.